All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel. Guys, this is, uh, it is time for another review. So say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Toast Man, Log and TV. They're all out of sorts here. Hold on, give me a second. There we go, that's a little better. Uh, and let's get started on the Knives Fast channel. Guys, uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. The channel is growing and that doesn't happen without you. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Now, this is a QSP knife. It's a little bit older one, but it's still available. Um, I need to double check that, but yes, it is. Uh, and this is the QSP Pangolin uh, Stonewash Blade Green G10. Uh, and this comes by way of David, who is QSP USA. Uh, David from Blade Banter. And David is QSP USA, and he's also in charge of the Apex Pass Around Group. And uh, he sent these out to a bunch of reviewers, had some stock, and I was very happy uh, to be able to check this out because it's a big boy. Uh, so get really excited when I see larger knives uh, made more uh, for folks with larger hands instead of tiny little knives like seem to be popular right now. But whatever. Uh, you do have full-on steel liners, um, and these liners do sit um, yeah, flush pretty much with the, uh, G10. And I'm trying, I keep trying. No, they're flush. Uh, you do have a contoured G10 scale with some really cool looking milling. Um, and I love the way the G10 looks with the chamfering that they've done, uh, because it causes that graining that you guys know I love. And they've just put chamfering in all the right places. Now, typically I don't much care for knives that force me to put my hands in a certain configuration. We'll talk more about that in a minute. Uh, let's just say it's good on this one. Um, now, it is a fairly deep carry. There's a little bit sticking out of the pocket. It is not reversible to the left side, so it's right hand tip up only. Um, it is a little bit taller knife, but you can still get your hand in here. Uh, no problem. Very, very I mean, it doesn't carry that big. It's it's just not. You do have D2 steel, of course, and it's on uh, the flipper tab there. Really, uh, there's no jimping on the flipper tab. We'll talk more about that. There's your stop pin and internals is running on bearings. You do have very thick uh, jimping here for those of you crazy jimping folks. And you can see some scalloping on the steel lock bar there. Very cool. Let's give it a flip. There you go. You do have a really cool drop point blade uh, with this awesome swedging up top and a thumb ramp. And guys, uh, I love ergonomically this knife. Uh, my hands fit it well. Uh, it feels very nice. You got a thumb ramp here and you are locked in. There is nowhere to uh, choke up, but it does have a sharpening choil uh, and a really nice stone wash on this blade now you do have a big honking qsp on the blade there uh you know not a big deal if it was me i would have preferred it up here but you know it's all right uh love the downturn and the fact that the tip is lower this would be a great skinner for those of you that are hunters out there you do have good access to the lock bar you have some scalloping it doesn't hurt my fingers uh it's pretty good now this snaps open really well with the flipper uh, that is the only opening method. I've tried to get it where I can uh, uh, middle finger flick it using the blade grind, but I can't. Very stout detent. Uh, flicks open really well. Um, you do have to get it past the detent, and then it is a shaker. It is not a, um, a dropper. Uh, fine with me. It is... A little off to uh, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna check this off camera. Yeah, a little off to the clip side. Not bad. You do have barrel spacers, decent open construction here, um, and you do have weight reduction milling inside. Not a ton, but some, um, and really good. Again, lock bar access is good. Uh, let's see here. Lock up is about a twenty to twenty five. Um, oh, let's do this. No. Locked up solid as a rock. Nice, big, long blade. Again, I think it would make a wonderful hunting knife. Uh, Skinner kind of thing. Let's clear a couple things off here and do uh, the old comparison. So, number one, you've always got the Ontario Rat 1. And, guys, this is Rat 1 territory. Uh, it's actually slightly bigger 
than the rat one. And of course, it's going to be way bigger than the rat two. Uh, so there are your comparisons. And just because I do it a lot lately, here is the, the uh, Tempest Knives Pinion, uh, which is an eight inch knife. Uh, and you can see the Pangolin has that by quite a bit. Uh, so really cool. Um, awesome, awesome. So uh, that is your comparisons. Now, I said these were available and they are at White Mountain Knives where you can use code KNIVESFAST for 10% off. You have black G10 with a um, D2 steel, of course, and um, uh, in a, a stonewash finish. You have the green with a stonewash finish and you have a beautiful looking black on black. I will leave uh, the, uh, so black coated blade is what I'm trying to say. I'll leave the link down in the description. Now these are $46. So with, uh, 10% off, you're going to be down below 40 or right at $40. Um, so overall, and of course, why did they do this in centimeters? Really? I wonder if I go to a different color, if it's in inches, maybe really, really who does centimeters? Okay. Well, I'm going to have to, let's, let's try one other thing here. I'm going to go to another website, QS. P pangolin. And by the way, this is not the penguin. It is the pangolin. I am saying that correct. Uh, obviously, it's a different blade shape. All right, here we go. So it's eight and a half overall inches, 4.75 inch blade length. Uh, whoa, that is not right. I think that is 3.75. Man, I'm just having trouble giving you guys good data on this knife here, but we're going to if I do not believe this to be a 4.7, no, 3.75. That's what I thought. 4.75 inch blade. Excuse me, I said it again. 3.75 inch blade, 4.5 uh, cutting edge. And again, that's going to make the handle probably is what they meant, 4.75. Yep, that's exactly right. So 4.75 inch handle, uh, 3.75 inch blade, 8.5 overall. Blade width is... Um, 1.13. Uh, the blade thickness is, well, that doesn't make any sense. Some of this, some of the data guys is not right. Handle thickness is 0.6. So it's a little thicker, but again, it's rounded. So it feels great. 5.3 ounces. Um, and again, these are just $46. Um, and by the way, that 5.3 does not feel unwieldy at this size. It feels good to me. And I like the way uh, now, again, I kind of sit on that hump right there a little bit, but it's smoothed out and it's good. And I don't feel that clip and the clip was good in and out of the pocket. No issues with that whatsoever. And guys, you know, how I like a longer blade and that thing is just very good. Now, as far as, um, cutting, uh, you know, I have used it mostly cutting paper and cardboard, but as you can see with cardboard, it is a slicer. Um, nice sticky feeling edge. I mean, look at that cardboard is just flying everywhere. It is, um, a very nice cutter. I really enjoyed, uh, checking this one out. Now I got cardboard absolutely everywhere. Um, which is, which is what we do here. So very, very cool guys. I really enjoyed checking these out. Now, you know, on the Knives Fast channel, you're going to get around a 10 minute or less, uh, review of these knives. That's what we do here. Uh, I appreciate those of you that watch the reviews. Um, the channel's been growing real well, trying to get the reviews, uh, views to pick up on the reviews. So if you could, uh, you know, make sure, uh, you're hitting the thumbs up, make sure you're commenting on the video. It helps push it out, uh, into the algorithm. I really would appreciate that, but this is a really excellent, excellent, uh, knife. I This one snuck up on me. I'd never heard of it, uh, and I am pretty impressed with it. Let's put it back up here on the stand. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. Any comments, let me know below. Give me a thumbs up. And again, if you're not subscribed, uh, please consider that. And thank you so much for your support and for watching the Knives Fast channel.